all right guys welcome to my channel thank you for coming i'm sarah i'm a bcba today my emotional support draft and i are going to be talking to you about free resources for studying for that bcba exam let's get started i can help you guys i love creating this content um but i want to make sure it's what you guys need and it's helping you get to your goals and you know passing that big exam so let me know what you'd like to see all right, guys, I'm going to be honest. When I was studying this video, I was shocked on how little free resources there are out there. And I've got some good ones for you guys today, but I was really expecting a lot more, especially like free mocks and things are really hard to find. And, you know, there's some companies that want you to pay like $90 for one or, you know, just two. They can only take once or twice. I was absolutely shocked. So I'm going to help you guys with this. Um, I'm going to work on creating a free mini mock. So the first one I've got for you today is probably one of the best resources. This one that I still am a part of today. I really enjoy it. I think there's a lot of great discussions on here. It's the ABA Study Group Facebook. So this one I love because it's the real questions that everybody's asking us studying for the exam. There's BCBAs that have passed on there that can also help answer these questions. The people just like who are studying will be posting questions on there like why is this term, you know, this way on this you know mock exam question or I need help understanding this concept and it could be great for you to study while you're on Facebook and you just see it you read it you answer in your head check the comments and you can figure out the correct answer or figure out you know the solution to that person's problem that likely be something for you to learn from and also Celia has mocks in there that are free and then that are wonderful they're definitely harder than the actual exams so keep that in mind when you go to take those and you score lower because they're a challenge, but they're a good challenge. That's really gonna get you thinking and seeing if you can break down those questions and truly understand if you can pick out why this one is better than all the others. She does a really good job of putting two really close answers in there, but only one of them is right because of this one tiny reason. All right, so we've got the lovely Celia Max on Facebook. I want to show you guys what it would look like. I went ahead and blurred it out of respect for her because I do have questions to answer in order to get into the Facebook group. But I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek of the exam questions, what it looks like. I hope you guys check it out. I love it. It's a great resource. I really appreciate it. All right, so after you join the ABA study group, go over to Study Notes ABA. So I'm going to have a link below the free resource page that they have. Um, there's like different sections on their actual website that they have. Like there's like an MO one they talk about the different MOs. Um, there's how to make your notes pretty, you know, some study motivation, adding color to, to your notes and all that can be really fun. So they have those on their website and they also have a YouTube channel that is amazing. I really loved it. It was a great way to kind of jump in, watch a video, learn something visually, and get back to studying, um, trying to understand and break down different things. So definitely check out their YouTube channel, subscribe to them. They are, they're wonderful. Okay, so like I said, there's not too many free actual mocks online that I could find that were high quality. One that I did find that I thought would be great, it's kind of a mini mock. It wasn't a full exam, it's from IT exams. Again, I'll have it linked below. So go ahead and go through this one. Um, you can take it as many times as you'd like. And they also give an explanation on why the answer is correct. So that's a really important part of studying is figuring out, you know, what you got wrong and why you got it wrong or why you got it right. So this next one is for my visual learners and those who are maybe too busy to sit down and take an entire mock exam. It's so much so maybe you need something that you can listen to in the car or on the go or while you're you know hanging out with your kids it's the youtube video i'm going to put it in right here it is the full bcba mock exam 185 mock questions with answers and explanations by jessica l i don't know how to say her last name but uh, this is a super popular video there's a lot of reddit threads that talk about how helpful this video is especially for multiple test takers. So feel free to check this one out. Okay, so another amazing resource I have for you guys is from learningbehavioranalysis.com. 
So there's two reasons why I love this resource. One, they break down everything on the task list by concept areas that you can just click on and I'll give you the explanation on what's important about that concept. So everything that is nice and easy and clean, breaks it down, clear cut information. And they also offer free quizzes by task list areas and concept areas. So if you go on the website, you can check it out. Um, doing mock exam questions by sections, I love because it really allows you to see, do I know this section rather than like an entire mock exam, seeing how you're doing overall. This breaks it down. So you realize that you're really struggling with section D. It's not, it's not sticking for you. You can go in on their website and you can look at that task list breakdown that they have and figure out what you're missing, what you're not getting and start, you know, you're studying from that point, figuring out your weak spots from those questions is going to be a great free resource. So definitely check this one out. All right, guys, so my last bonus tip here I got for you is if you are working with a BCBA and some or somebody that's passed recently, ask them, ask them questions, ask them to quiz you, um, ask them what they struggled with, what resources they use, if they have anything they could share with you. Um, that can be another great way to just kind of access those free resources that we so badly need to get our hands on while we're doing this studying. Um, I'm going to work on creating a free mini mock of 30 questions that cover, you know, different areas of the task list. Um, just go ahead and subscribe to this video and send me an email. My email is in the description box and I'll just email you that free mock for you. It'll have, um, the questions and then the answers of what the explanations of why that answer is the correct answer. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I'm also gonna make it to a YouTube video as well. So that way anybody can access it, but that's gonna take some time. That is my top five free study resources for you guys. There's some more out there. Um, some I didn't quite trust as much or required information in order to get your results or I was just trying to sell you their products. So I didn't include those ones, but you can definitely find more out there. But I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what you guys need, what study resources and materials you wish you had. It's kind of helpful to have a video where we go through and make flashcards together with the different definitions on the task list and then the keywords that I think are super important to pick out in those questions for, you know, on your mock exam and the real deal. Do you think that'd be helpful? I would love to be a part of making those for you guys, so let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, you got this.